All right, we've got a very strange story for you involving hippos and cocaine. Stay with me, I'll explain. When Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar was killed in 1993, he left behind his private zoo of exotic animals. Now, most of them were relocated, except for four fully grown hippos who'd been illegally imported to Colombia from Africa. Well, now those hippos made their way into the local river system and the population has grown to 80 animals. Scientists are now left dealing with the impact on the local ecosystem. So Johanna Wagstaff joins us now to dive deeper into this mm -hmm. story. So we've got drug lords and exotic mm -hmm. animals. I, I got to tell you, I didn't think I was going to be talking about this on Canada tonight, but, <laughs> I, but I'm not <laughs> mad about it. Um, tell us, how damaging is this to the environment because hippos are not uh, natural to Colombia? Yeah, I feel the same about this. So let's just let this all sink in for a moment before I get to uh, uh, the science. A bit more on the background of these original for hippos, as you said, they were too expensive and too tricky to try and relocate. You're looking at pictures mm. of the exact four. They were sort of left to roam the estate, which has now turned into sort of a theme park. They made their way down to the river system uh, that runs the whole extent of Columbia, sort of like their uh, Mississippi River. And this is where the herbivore continued to grow. As you said, uh, 80, about 80 hippos have now, uh, they've re reproduced to that size and they grew from 35 to 80 in just the past eight years, despite the government's attempt uh, to slow that those reproduction mm. rates, obviously uh, not really controlling, controlling uh, the reproduction very well. Uh, so uh, several new studies have come out trying to figure out what the impact of these large herbivores that are eating vegetation that hasn't been eaten in thousands of years. They're uh, defecating into the river system and they have no natural predators. So a right. new study uh, just recently published uh, out of uh, Mexico has found that uh, they've actually done a hippopotamus population forecast and has found that this population will grow to a size of 1,500 hippos wow. by 2035. So yeah, in no time at all. And obviously worries about the impact to the ecosystem, but also uh, the impact to humans. We've already had a couple of cases of these hippos being aggressive and injuring farmers. Mm. Uh, another new study coming out of San Diego just recently has found they're already changing the water quality, Janela, and threatening local species. Uh, but locals are uh, staunchly against this. They definitely uh, are charmed by the hippos and uh, do not want them to be called. Right. They don't want anything to happen to the hippos. Um, but it sounds, so despite some of those concerns, it sounds like it's not all bad. Bad news. Is there anything good coming from this? Yeah, of course, Janella, this story would have more than one side. Our CBC Quirks and Quirks team actually spoke to another group of scientists out of Australia who released a study proposing that these hippos are actually helping to return this area to an ancient ecosystem. Hmm. Uh, these large herbivores used to rule the planet uh, just a few thousand years ago, and humans hunted these large herbivores to extinction. Uh, these scientists not only looked at these hippos, they looked at camels in Australia and even wild hogs in Canada, all mammals that have been introduced by humans, but they found that they perfectly fit into this empty niche in the ecosystem that has basically been vacant for thousands of years, and that's helping to return the land to the ecosystem well before humans. So it sort of opens up this big debate how far back uh, do we want to return ecosystems to? So it's interesting. There are two sides to the story. I hope we can check in before that number reaches 1,500 very soon. <laughs> wow, what a fascinating story. The hungry hippos giving us something to talk about tonight. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joanna Wagstaff in Vancouver tonight. Thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome.